So uh, to adjust the machine first, you need to connect it to the power and air. Air should be six bar, will be fine. The machine panel is like this. We have a different, different, different function. Press this calibration means to adjust the machine. One circle means if you press, it will print one time. And multi circle means continuous to print. So to for how to operate the machine first is to adjust the machine set to calibration put it up and then to adjust the height of the printing table also you need to put the print head down up and put down The first is to set how to adjust the filter, adjust the machine, machine wheel table height. Here has the wheel, here has the wheel to spin up and you will go up. When you adjust the height, if it's not reached, and then you can use uh, this knob here and here to micro adjustment. If the print head is touched on the edge, it's not good for the printing, then you need to lose these two screws and then put it out. Put it out. Yes, and put it to the place you want to print it, and then lock it. If it is small, and you need to put it in big and put it out. This four screw also can be adjustment to printing. Make sure the squeegee need to in the. Uh, this is squeegee part which is the center of the, this product for cylindrical product to be at the center so now now we lose it and then there's the knobs here to be micro adjustment to move in the center of this filter after, after finish moving and when it's at center lock yeah it's at the center and then lock it lock the further screws make sure it's not moving Place at the center, we can go to the next step, lock, place the print head. Make sure the squeegee need to be touched on the address you want to print. Yeah, this is how to set the up and down. And let's go here. We go back to adjustments, calibration, and then this is for the ring head go left and right. The sensor here is and another size, another sensor is to control the printing length or the moving length of the show. The function, the red table up and down here actually has another function. When you when the print when the, when the word, word table up and then this right and left can be moved by manually. But it is done 
is set so when you set up and then manually move this to control uh, the control light and left and the stroke of the print screen, screen printing lamp for the train hand this this is squeegee this is the uh, ink full of bars you will move this to close and then take it out if you if you for a long time not using and then this two screw here is for the balance of the squeegee or full of bar This is a bar they claim for the six glint. Move at the right position. Put on the screen. set to the right position and then you will be locked the screen put the filter place up to the right place again After set the light position and then use this screw to lock the screen frame, make sure it's not moving. See this sensor here? This side is control how length of the screen go this side. Yeah, and then this this sensor here is to control this how how length this will be will be go. See the lights on and then push to here. The lights on. It means this is the printing stove. Okay. Stop. Mm. <coughs> also, this knob here can be controlled the balance of the the table slightly up or down. If your if your product is quite Chronicle, and then you can use this here to adjust. <laughs> so first step is adjust how and down, and the second step is adjust the screen. Now it's to adjust the print head. So this is screws here to put the squeegee down to touch the screen. And then button there is to for switch. Light and left. Also also when you put the web table up you can also emit the also switch to squeegee and flap bar also need to be attached 
touch the screen down one millimeter estimate the screen is also the same so uh, normally normally uh, the, the, uh, this flower part is just to cover the ink you'll be just touch the screen or dip a little bit is also fine here is squeegee squeegee is control the printing so uh, sometimes if it's not printed well you can adjust more pressure down more little to to make the printing good so we put the ink here After everything is set, and then we could put the print head down. Now we are ready to do the printing. This one can also control by a pedal. So the logo is not showing out, means the pressure is not enough. So you need to add more pressure. How to add the pressure down, you need to use this screw to knock, to lock, make sure it's not moving. So this help you every time printing. So we print second time after the setting is actually really good. Let me check. Now this printing is really good and the operation is quite simple. That's all for the operation. This is printing. As the printing quality is really good. I'm just in time. So this is how to do the screen printing. Actually, it's quite easy. So we go back to we go back to step one to to. Review everything. Everything really. So first is that adjust the machine wheel table up and down, and then put the squeegee flat bar in, and then later is adjust the screen. After the screen is adjusted, then adjust the stroke, the stroke, the printing length of the machine. Then you can do the. Then the later is do the micro adjustment for the for the printing head. You'll be fine. This is all the steps. Now we choose one circle to print. If you choose multi circle, it will print cont automatically, continuously. So this is how to operate this machine.